Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make German buttercream. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. This recipe is a great addition to my frosting library. I know I have a whole bunch of buttercreams, but if American buttercream is too sweet for you, like it is for me, you'll probably appreciate this custard-based frosting instead. It's much less sweet than classic buttercream, but I do wanna warn you, it takes a little bit more technique and this frosting does not hold up to the heat pretty much at all. It's basically just custard or pudding and butter. So just keep that in mind when you're making it. Now we're going to begin by making my pastry cream. I recently reshared this recipe, super simple, super quick. It's probably the easiest way to make a real authentic pastry cream. So we are going to start by combining one cup of milk and one cup of heavy cream in a large measuring cup. Add five large egg yolks. and make sure you whisk everything together so the yolks are nicely broken up. Now head over to your stove top where you'll combine two thirds cup of granulated sugar with three tablespoons of cornstarch and one fourth teaspoon of salt. And you'll wanna make sure you whisk those together as well to get rid of any lumps. Now while whisking, gradually drizzle that milk and cream and egg yolk mixture into the sugar mixture until it's nice and smooth and completely combined and you have no lumps. Turn your stovetop heat to medium and you are going to want to whisk pretty much constantly until that pastry cream thickens. Once it's thickened, immediately remove it from heat, pour it through a fine mesh strainer into a heat proof bowl. And then we'll add four tablespoons of butter, adding one tablespoon at a time and whisking really well after each addition. Finally, you'll just add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, stir everything together, and let your pastry cream sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. Finally, you will want to make sure you cover that with a piece of plastic wrap or parchment paper directly against the surface of the pastry cream and refrigerate it for at least four to six hours, preferably overnight. Once your pastry cream has completely cooled, you'll want to remove it from the fridge along with two sticks of unsalted butter. You're going to want to let these approach room temperature. Now, they should be really close to room temperature, but the butter should absolutely not be so soft that it's melty. Otherwise, your buttercream is going to give you a lot of issues. Now, I'm going to be making today's recipe in my stand mixer just because it's a little bit easier than doing it with an electric mixer. It takes a little bit of uh, the arm workout out of it. So I've fitted mine with a whisk whisk attachment and I am just going to be adding the butter to the bowl of my stand mixer. We're not using the pastry cream just yet. Now it's very important that you beat this butter really, really well until it's light and fluffy. It will have become more pale in color. I usually have to beat mine on medium high speed for about three to four minutes. All right, our butter is looking pretty good at this point. So now we can start adding our pastry cream. Now you do not want to add this too quickly. You just want to add about a spoonful at a time and stir until the, that pastry cream you just added is completely incorporated before you add the next spoonful. Now, once I notice that there seems to be a lot of pastry cream building up on the rim where the whisk can't quite reach, that's when I will pause and scrape the bowl and just kind of scrape the bottom of the bowl as well. That way I'm making sure everything is getting well combined. And then we'll just keep on mixing, adding that pastry cream one spoonful at a time. Of course, once you get down to the bottom, you wanna make sure you get all of that pastry cream in there. And then once everything is combined, I like to pause at this point and just taste the pastry cream, honestly, because you can add sugar or other flavoring or more salt or vanilla at this point if needed. Now, what I usually do is I find typically it's fine just as it is, or I like to add a little bit of sugar, um, but not too much because you don't wanna make the frosting too sweet. Today, I'm just going to be adding one half cup of powdered sugar and we'll stir that in. Once it's combined, I like to increase the speed to medium high again and just whip it for a couple of seconds until everything comes together until you have a nice creamy frosting-like consistency. Now German buttercream can be a little bit finicky. Things can go wrong. The mixture can separate or curdle. If that happens, I am going to refer you over to my blog post where I cover this troubleshooting in a little bit more detail, but don't panic because usually even if this happens, it can be saved. All right, this is looking pretty much beautiful, so I am just going to pour it or scoop it into a piping bag. All right, and for the first time in my life, for some reason I don't have 
cupcakes on hand to show you piping this on a cupcake. So I'm just going to pipe it on a plate for you so you can see the consistency. Now, if your frosting is too soft, if you feel like it's kind of dissolving in on itself, just stick it in the fridge for a couple more minutes to help it solidify a little bit more. And that is how you make German buttercream at home. I really hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and if you try it out, please let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. No cupcake necessary.